Hi, welcome to Tesla Car World. You might not know this, but Elon often refers to semi-trucks as Tesla's ultimate money-making machine. But why? We found that if a diesel truck drives an average of 150,000 miles a year, the fuel cost is going to be around 75 grand. But with a semi, drivers spend between 20 and 30 thousand dollars, saving between 46 and 53 grand a year. That's a 60 to 70 percent reduction. Incredible, right? Pepsi drivers even admitted that they don't want to go back to diesel after getting used to semi. And now Tesla's launched a new sleeper cab version, along with a ton of newly released performance data. Dive in and explore it all right now. You might be wondering if the semi truck is a good vehicle, why doesn't Tesla make it in such mass volume? But you know, among all EV models from Tesla, the Semi is perhaps Tesla's most challenging. It's no coincidence that the number of electric trucks has barely increased over the years. You know, the main reason is that Tesla's not yet established an automated electric truck production line at its Nevada factory. The production of the Semi is still mostly done manually. Moreover, the scale of Semi production is also limited. As you know, the dimension of these big rigs requires a big facility, and Giga Nevada is not sufficient enough to meet demand, as the factory also has to prioritize battery cell production. This makes the production process slower and more complicated. Some of you thought Tesla used 4680 batteries for Tesla Semi, but this is wrong. Since production until now, they have been using 2170 cells for the big rig. But that's just a temporary battery pack, because Tesla Semi clearly needs a better battery pack. So they are always waiting for the surplus 4680 batteries to install in semi. It is extremely suitable for semis because 4680s have the ability to significantly reduce the production costs, increase the performance, and reduce vehicle weight. However, due to the priority of 4680s for the Cybertruck and the production progress of 4680 not being accelerated, the semi is still produced in limited quantities to wait for the new battery technology. Finally, we have learned that the Tesla Semi is just a prototype that Pepsi is still testing and gathering operational data on. Since there are still a lot of modifications to be made, mass production can't kick off until the evaluation process is complete. Because of this, the Semi has faced delays, and there aren't many units available on the market. This has led many of us to wonder if Tesla is truly stuck in a production hell, or if they might have actually stopped production on the Semi model. Yeah, and we were totally wrong. After overcoming all the obstacles in final stages, the Semi has officially entered mass production. They even launched a new version, the Sleeper Cab. A lot of other big details about its performance specs and some incredible data about the rig were revealed at the 2024 IAA Transportation Trade Show in Germany. Tesla's Semi Sleeper Cab Variant Specifically, the new version of the semi-truck allows for an added sleeping cabin right behind the main cab. This area is built with sturdy metal frames to create a fold-out bed that can comfortably fit two drivers. Adding the sleeping space behind the cab instead of integrating it into the cab itself is a smart design choice. It lets Tesla make use of the space in the back without cramping the already spacious cabin. Plus, incorporating a sleeping area inside would have required a complete redesign of the interior, which could have delayed things even more. The electric truck has already faced several years of setbacks. Of course, these metal frames are just the basics of what we've seen in the sleeper cab. There's definitely going to be more detailed improvements in the future. While it offers a range of 500 miles on a full charge, the lack of a sleeping cabin has also been a major factor in holding back the semi-truck's use for long-haul trips. So adding the sleeper cab is a big step forward, allowing drivers to undertake multi-day journeys more comfortably. As soon as the sleeper cab was announced, many people believed that this will be the perfect foundation. The Tesla Semi could easily become a mobile home, providing electricity, lighting, and sleeping space for camping trips. Sounds reasonable, right? What do you think about the Tesla Semi sleeper cab? 2. Tesla Semi's Incredible Performance Specs In addition to the launch of the sleeper cab, a lot of other specs were revealed at this event. If you're not interested in all electric trucks, then the latest updates on the Semi might not be that exciting for you. But for those who have been following this truck for years and are performance enthusiasts, these new updates and operational data are truly astounding. It's been in the shadows since 2017, with only a handful of deliveries to Pepsi in 2022. Tesla's senior Semi manager, Dan Priestley, revealed some impressive operational data about the rig. For instance, Tesla's fleet in North America has logged over 4.5 million miles, giving them a wealth of info on how the truck handles inclines, energy consumption, and cargo capacity.
The Tesla Semi is said to be a beast on steep roads and hills, with insane performance thanks to its three independent motors that deliver torque and unmatched power at any speed. It can go from 0 to 60 in only 20 seconds when fully loaded, but that's not the biggest surprise. Even more astonishing is that one of the semis has been confirmed to achieve a total operating range of over 250,000 miles in only 18 months, less than two years on the road. You're probably wondering, how is that even possible? This was made possible by the exclusive megacharger systems that Tesla has implemented at their factory and Frito-Lay facility in Modesto. That's how Tesla and the semi fleet at PepsiCo managed to achieve over 1,000 miles in a single day with some of their semis. In fact, the semi running over 1,000 miles was proven when it set a record of actually 1,076 miles in one day with just three quick charges at the Run On Less event last year. With the ability to go 1,000 miles in a day nearly matching the capacity of a diesel truck, Tesla argues that the semi can replace an eight-class diesel truck on a one-to-one -one basis, and there's really no room for debate on that. To actually cover over 1,000 miles in a day, the fast charging capability of the semi is the key factor. From what we understand, the big rig can recover up to 70% of its range in a half hour, and it can charge speeds of up to 1 megawatt. Dan Priestley said that the truck's approaching an energy consumption level of 100 kilowatt hours per 62 miles, and that means it's only seven times higher than the 137 watt hours a kilometer of the Tesla Model 3. An impressive figure for sure. We believe many people think that the charging time for the 900 kilowatt hour battery pack of the Semi is a real nightmare, but that's not quite what you think. This is why Tesla refers to the Semi as a beast. Dan Priestley also emphasized during the event that they're working hard to ensure that there's no waiting time to charge these electric trucks. They plan to build charging systems at locations where trucks typically stop, like loading and unloading points. On average, it takes two to three hours to load and unload a semi, which is the ideal time for drivers to recharge the Tesla semi. Alternatively, when drivers need to rest after driving all day, it's another opportunity to charge. Due to regulations, many truck drivers aren't allowed to drive continuously for 15 to 18 hours. They're required to take breaks after a certain amount of time on the road. Another advantage of the Tesla Semi is its high reliability and ease of maintenance. In recent statements, Priestley emphasized that 95% of the current fleet has uptime without major issues, and repairs can often be completed within 24 hours. With this impressive benefit, it could completely replace diesel Class 8 trucks, especially since it can go 1,000 miles in a day with multiple quick charges. The Tesla Semi also proves to provide a sense of safety while on the road. You often see cars trying to overtake trucks and encroaching into their lanes, which can be stressful for truck drivers. However, with an electric truck that accelerates as quickly as a semi, this situation is less likely to occur. We've seen some clips of other drivers attempting to pass the semi but failing, which means electric truck drivers won't have to hit the brakes as often when aggressive drivers try and cut them off. We also know that most electric trucks, especially semi, have an enormous amount of torque, almost double that of diesel trucks allowing them to climb steep hills without dropping their speed to 20 to 40 miles an hour. The semi uses all three motors for regenerative braking, while diesel trucks often have to shift to lower gears, leading to more fuel consumption and still needing to use brakes. As we all know, diesel trucks don't have regenerative braking, whereas electric trucks typically do. This feature has been part of the semi since the early prototypes, employing powerful regenerative braking to recover 80% of the energy used when going up a hill, which is pretty impressive. So Elon is spot on about Tesla Semi having a big advantage over diesel. 3. Tesla Semi Commercial to External Customers by 2026 Continuing with another surprise for those planning to buy a Semi in the future, Elon recently confirmed at the Tesla shareholder meeting that the company will start selling its electric trucks to external customers by 2026. This means that Tesla won't be delivering trucks to large shipping companies. Anyone's going to be able to buy a big rig. Thanks to Tesla's vertical integration and the challenges they've recently tackled, producing the semi will be more streamlined. Recently, Dan Priestley also mentioned that Tesla will develop multiple configs of the semi, allowing buyers to choose based on their needs. That means you can opt for a standard or long-range version, along with various options for range and performance to suit typical daily driving distances. It's only going to get better when Tesla comes back with a mass-produced semi version. High performance means lower weight and cost of batteries, which translates to a cheaper product and more benefits for us customers. Now, you might not know this, but Semi is currently the most energy efficient truck in the world right now. During the June shareholder meeting, Elon mentioned that if you care about money, you got to own a Semi. 
Recently, at some lively electric truck events, Elon reiterated this on X. Compared to diesel, Tesla semis have more acceleration, uphill power, and computer-controlled safety features like jackknifing protection, so both more fun and safer to drive. This shows that the semi is actually better than you think. Tesla's goal is to make 50,000 units each year, potentially starting in 26, once the new factory has a stable production line. So if we do a simple calculation based on 50,000 semis at 180 grand each, the total revenue could hit $9 billion with a profit margin of about 10% which is around 900 million bucks. However, 180 grand was the price leaked back in 2017. And now we think that the price probably rose to over 200K. And that makes sense, right? Clearly, factors have changed over the nearly eight years. While the profit margins on heavy-duty trucks aren't all that high, it would be a significant contribution to Tesla's revenue if they do hit this target. Right now, Tesla has a lot of competition in the truck market in both North America and Europe, but no company is discussing a goal of 50,000 units a year. So that figure not only brings in revenue, but if Tesla hits it, they could capture 10 to 20 percent of the truck market in the States each year. That is a significant share to overlook for their competitors. As we all know, one big factor that makes the semi stand out from its rivals is its impressive range, exceeding 500 miles on one charge. But it's possible that Tesla will achieve even greater range for the electric truck soon as the semi transitions to using the 4680s instead of the 2170 cells. Tesla has now begun producing 4680s using a new dry coating process, which helps reduce production costs. Alongside this, companies like Panasonic, Samsung, and LG are also making 4680s. So once the new semi-factory gets done, Tesla will immediately start using 4680s, offering benefits not only in performance, but also in cost reduction. This helps Tesla hit its goal of 50,000 semis a year, as Elon's talked about many times. As Musk confirmed last year, Tesla plans to produce semi at Giga Berlin after completing the semi factory next to Giga Factory Nevada. Although semi's not yet allowed on the roads in Australia, it's been legalized in Europe. Tesla is moving forward with its plans to globalize the semi, targeting Canada, the U.S., and Europe. Of course, Tesla doesn't intend to enter Europe's market right away. They plan to focus on the U.S. truck market first, then hit Europe shortly thereafter. Dan Priestley stated that the semi-truck is not expected to launch before 2026. The Tesla Semi has been tested in extreme conditions, from steep climbs in Cali to freezing temps in Alaska. These tests demonstrate that the Semi is well-suited for the challenging routes in Europe, too. We believe none of us feels comfortable witnessing the exhaust from diesel engines. But this is unavoidable when driving on highways due to the increasing prevalence of diesel-powered vehicles in the freight industry, which is spreading in densely populated urban areas. Electric trucks offer many advantages over diesel trucks, from lower operating costs to faster hill climbing ability, enhanced safety, and reduced noise. With improvements in charging times and continuous operation capabilities, electric trucks will become a more attractive option down the road. Pepsi's CEO explained that integrating the Tesla into the company's fleet has gone much smoother than expected. Truck drivers have embraced the vehicle very positively. Atonovic shared an anecdote about a veteran Pepsi driver who, after driving the semi, said he would never go back to driving diesel again. So far, aside from the around 100 units used by Tesla for transporting batteries from Nevada to Fremont, the remaining semi trucks made have primarily been delivered to Pepsi. Currently, Pepsi's fleet of Tesla semis is operating from three warehouses one in Modesto, one in Sacramento, and one in Fresno, California. Modesto's warehouse operates 15 semis on regional long-haul routes, while Sacramento has 21 semis with 18 running routes and 3 on regional long-haul routes. Fresno's warehouse does 50 Tesla semis, with 45 being used locally and 5 for regional long-haul routes. In our vision, by next year, Tesla will have delivered enough semis to at least 30 companies. They place the orders, and there will certainly be more big customers seeking Tesla as they see how effectively their competitors are operating with Tesla's electric truck fleet. While the current availability of the semi is limited, the impact of this big rig on the freight industry is undeniable. Offering economic benefits without emissions, the Tesla Semi not only marks a breakthrough in transportation, but also promises to revolutionize electric trucking with its large production potential and outstanding advantages. With Elon confirming plans to sell all of the Semi to external customers by the year after next, ownership won't be just restricted to large businesses. Individuals will also have the opportunity to own one. Thanks to its vertically integrated manufacturing process and advanced technology, Tesla's gearing up for massive and flexible production with various configurations to meet diverse customer needs.
The goal of producing 50,000 units a year starting in 2026 seems ambitious, but it's very achievable thanks to scaling up new factories like Gigafactory. Tesla has demonstrated its ability to ramp up production with other vehicle lines and will continue applying this with Semi, taking energy efficiency, safety, and performance to new heights. With an expected price of $200,000 a unit, the Semi will not only make a contribution to the company's revenue, but also create opportunities for the freight industry to transition to electric. This solidifies Tesla's position as a pioneer in transforming the future of the trucking and transport industry. If you owned a transportation company, would you want to have a semi in your fleet? And what improvements or features are you looking forward to seeing in the upcoming big rig? Thank you for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to learn more exciting info about Tesla cars, make sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you back here soon. Take care and God bless.